Here's my paper towel. I'm going to fold that in half. Now decide what you want to draw for your paper puff toy. I have here already drawn in pencil a hamburger and I have that hamburger touching the edge where my crease is. This will help keep my top and bottom layers together. Although crayons will work, this is just a lot easier using markers because the paper towel is so easy to rip. Draw your image, give it a nice outline, and then add the color. And here's my hamburger all colored in on the edge of the crease so that the bottom layer is attached. Now holding both layers, cut your image out. And I don't have to cut the bottom since my hamburger is on the edge. Using a few strips of clear tape, cover the top layer of the image. Placing your tape down, make sure it goes over the edge on all sides. This part is kind of like laminating by tape. You want to seal this whole thing between layers of tape. As you cover it up with the tape, make sure to overlap the strips of tape so that the paper towel is completely sealed. When you reach the top, make sure to leave some of the napkin exposed. We want to leave that opening so that it can be stuffed later. So don't tape all the way to the top. Now carefully flip it over so that we can tape on the other side. Now that the tape pieces are touching each other, they are sticking together and sealing in the whole image. But you still want to press around the edges so it creates a nice seal. And just like on the other side, you don't want to tape all the way to the top. Because we didn't tape the top, now we can fill it in to give it volume, making it puffy. For the filling, if you have cotton, use that. But if you don't, you can always have little pieces of scrap paper cut up, crumpled, and placed into the pocket. Once it's all filled, use two strips of tape, one for the front and one for the back, and press them together, sealing, closing it all up. Now all you need to do is cut off the extra tape, leaving just a little on the edge so that it keeps it all together. And that's it, you made your own paper puff toy. This was so much fun to make that I made two more. Instead of paper towels, I used Kleenex tissue. It also worked, but I think the paper towels were a lot easier to work with. I hope you have tons of fun making these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.